Okay, out to dinner. What to wear? Uh, it's a bit formal, isn't it? I don't think this place is that formal. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, just pick something, we need to go. If there's one thing I hate, it is getting dressed. Uh, no, I like getting dressed. I don't like picking what to get dressed into. <laughs> I've often thought, wouldn't it be great if instead of me having to pick my own outfits, my reflection could... Ugh. Is this our dinner outfit? This is embarrassing, Matt. I mean, this is worse than the Spider-Man costume for toddlers, if I'm honest. Now, the old Liam probably would have built this project using a motion sensor and a voice assistant. Because that's a pretty easy way to make it so that every time you walk in front of the mirror... Wow, I love your shirt. It really brings out the dark circles under your eyes. But that's boring. And the old Liam can't come to the phone right now because he's dead. Taylor Swift reference. <laughs> So I imagine it's going to be pretty difficult to build a mirror that roasts your outfit if we do not first build a mirror. So I'm going to head to my local bunny. It's a, it's a home improvement store. So I'm going to get some stuff now. So next on the agenda. So next on the agenda. Oh, sorry. Were you gonna go? I was. I was gonna do a voiceover. I'll do it. You just. You drive home. I'll do the voiceover. Okay. So next on the agenda was to actually build the mirror. Now, the longer you watch me build this, the more confused you're probably gonna be, and that's because this isn't your everyday mirror. This is a one-way mirror with a TV behind it, which basically means. Yeah. You know what? I'll actually. I think I'll let myself explain it in real time. I feel like I cut myself off before. I feel kind of bad about it actually. So. Should we just wait for this to be done? <clears throat> so basically, this just looks like a regular old mirror until you play. Ta-da! Until you play something through the TV. Look at me, I'm in the TV. I'm a talking reflection. Uh, nice outfit, bro. <laughs> Not. Now, as far as I know, the best way for us to give our mirror the ability to critique an outfit is with something called a machine learning model. Long story short, that means we need to go into this folder, which contains literally every photo of me I could find, and we need to decide if the outfit in each photo is good or bad. So, for example, this one, <laughs> obviously good. And the final picture is obviously good. So with all of those sorted, and thanks to some genius from ChatGPT, I think if I run this program, okay, it's at least working the camera. Hello, I'm a human. What do you think of my outfit? Come on. No? Okay, well, what's happening? Okay, I think it was actually just the background that was messing it up, like I wasn't standing far enough back. Bad. <laughs> oh, it freaking works, dude! Let's go! Oh my god, that was so much easier than it should have been! <laughs> So at this point, we need to combine parts one and two. And for that, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> this
This kind of Raspberry Pi is literally just a tiny computer, so we can actually copy ChatGPT's code onto it, and that basically gives us a portable version of the program. But you may recall, this program currently only has two opinions. Good. Bad. So to fix that, I filmed a whole bunch of clips of myself saying stuff like, Eh! Hey, dear! Goodness me, what are you wearing, sir? It's hideous! <laughs> and after implementing them into the program with a final sprinkling of ChatGPT magic, I attached a webcam and... The mirror is complete! <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like it's perfect. There's literally four wires sticking out of the bottom that I've just digitally removed. And it's also weirdly blurry. Like, can you guys see how I kind of... It looks like I'm out of focus all the time but it's actually just because I made it badly. I feel like the only logical way for us to end this video is to try on a bunch of ridiculous outfits and try and get one that the mirror likes. We made it kind of rare for the mirror to like an outfit, so let's do it. Let's just put on some really weird crap and see what happens. Okay, outfit number one. The program sh should be running. Hello? Me, what are you wearing, sir? It's hideous. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't already tried this 20 times to make sure it works. Outfit number two. Here we go, baby. My disco outfit. Everyone loves my disco outfit, right? Dobby? Dobby the house elf? You do know you don't have to wear that pillowcase anymore, right? <laughs> Oh, sorry, thought just someone else. That's my favorite roast. Out of all of the roasts, that's my favorite one. Okay, there is no way that you can hate outfit number three. It's literally just a chicken. Is it a chicken? I don't actually know. What are you doing in my swamp? I can't, I can't do these accents, bro. <laughs> all right, buddy. <sighs> Might want to be a little careful what you say about this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You shall not wear that outfit! Bruh, how many is it going to take to get a good one? Outfit number 10,000. I honestly am running out of outfits here, fam. Wow. That's a really nice outfit, actually. What is that? I love that! <laughs> wear that every day! It's amazing! <laughs> Yeah!